bloody hell are you? Uh, this is a private members bar. Exclusively for the supporters of the greatest football team in the world. Manchester United. Now please, enlighten me. Who the fuck are you? Hi there, everybody. Welcome to the match. Martin Tyler here. Alan Smith sitting alongside me. Thank you, Martin. Looking forward to this. Today's game, Manchester United against Crystal Palace. Well, the Eagles of Crystal Palace, will they be flying high, do you think, Alan Smith? Might be good, solid form for this side over the last few games, so it goes without saying. They will want to continue that here. Well, the players have very little margin for error today in one way, because we've got a referee who is very, very letter of the law. Takes no prisoners, does he? And uh, I think in some matches it can be good, but the manager should have made that clear in the dressing room, made sure that the players don't dive in early doors. <laughs> What's a crack again there, YouTube, a good friend, Das Merg. Vinnie Jones at the beginning there. God love Vinnie Jones. It's a shame he really hasn't got much of a crack there to, uh, you know, break out of his shell, so to speak. But, uh, rolling live pretty sweet here. And, oi! You fancy a bit of football? <laughs> That's your good friend Desberg's uh, terrible English accent. Anyways, what's uh, what's happening again there, YouTube? Yeah, your good friend Desberg, he plays a little football too. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> little FIFA 12 action for you, and uh, this is on PC. Uh, again, you know, why I pay, but why I pay, why I play, uh, why I pay to play, I guess you can, one, one could say, but uh, why I play this on... Uh, PC, by the way, is, uh, you know, the mod support, sometimes you can fix, or at least mitigate some of the things that are wrong with it, and there's uh, a whole lot of stuff actually going on for uh, FIFA 12, but I haven't really delved too, too deep into it, I mean, faces, kits, referees, ad boards, stadiums, um, graphics, uh, wipes, I mean, all kinds of stuff out there for you, but it's, uh, some of it's a little more advanced, too. But to give you some background here, I am uh, Crystal Palace, who was in the N Power League, which is the league below the Premiership, uh, which is the top level league for anybody out there who doesn't follow FOI, uh, doesn't want follow the English football goings on. So, uh, what the English have is they have the English Premiership, which is all their top teams in one league, and then they have three basically uh, relegation or and or feeder leagues. Uh, below that, and uh, what do you call it there? Crystal Palace was in the league below this one, and last season I played through that one and got promoted. Because what happens is the top two teams from the league below get promoted to the league above, and the bottom two teams get what they call uh, relegated or dumped down to uh, the bottom two. I'm just looking at a text here of uh, my wife giving me. Give me what for here for making it work on Saturday. <laughs> well, I said I don't play in soccer. <laughs> Anyways, uh, so if you're not a mank, you're a wank. Sadly, I'm a wank because I'm Crystal Palace here. Just trying to build them into a team. I tried doing the uh, building the team, one of the lower teams up. What it was like, Bristol Rovers, and that was from the bottom and Power Two League, and it was just. Uh, you know, it's just too much, and you only get 15 seasons, and this is the career mode from FIFA 12, and, and be a manager, so, you know, a franchise association type style, if, you're, if again, if you're not familiar with playing FIFA, and, you know, I originally, you know, normally when I play FIFA's too, I like to take uh, lower teams, you know, Cardiff actually is one of my favorites, but now they're... <laughs> They're like in, in the league that Crystal Palace just came out of, so and they were one of the bottom teams. Fancy that, eh? all the money that's flooded into uh, English soccer. I guess people got to spend their money on something. So we're just uh, flashing through highlights here, the game I just played here against uh, Manchester United. This is early on in the second season, and things are going well for Crystal Palace. Uh, I've, what I've done with that team is... Uh, stripped out what I didn't like of it and brought in uh, there's they have what they call a transfer uh, system so there's transfer windows that are open for correct me if I'm wrong it's not it's a month 
in two periods of the season at the beginning and basically dead in the middle. And or is it a month and a half? I can't remember which one it is. I, you know, I want to say a month sounds more correct to me, but uh, you know, maybe some of you soccer followers out there, or I can go back and look myself and hardcore check it out for you. But there's transfer windows, and that's basically an opportunity for you to sell players or to buy new players. So it's basically like a free agency period, but it's a little bit different because uh, English football is a little more hardcore. Uh, what do you call it? They uh, like you buy, like a team buys a player and gives them a contract. You know, uh, they own the rights to that player, and then they can sell the rights to that player. And on top of that, the player also makes a, a wage. So um, there's two things you have to keep in mind when you're managing a team, which is your the amount of money that you have available to purchase new players, which depends on a number of factors. How you finish in the league, there's what, uh, there's the John Payne Trophy, there's the League Cup, there's the FA Cup, and then there's also the uh, European Championship, the UEFA Championship there every two years. Uh, and you have to qualify, and I'll have to go through that. This, is, this would be the year that it's playing. Uh, next year it'll be, go back into qualifying again. So I'll have to go through the qualification process for that. Well, that is half time, half -time. and the score is nil-nil here. We've got a few players in this first half who picked up that old nickname Jigsaw because they've gone to pieces in the box. They haven't taken those chances that have been well made for them. Yeah, to say they've lost the call would be putting it mildly. It's been not the best exhibition of uh, clinical forward play from that lot. back again some halftime highlights there from the first half so Manchester United uh, has uh, put the gears to be pretty good uh, they've created quite a few chances the chances have been fairly evenly distributed in the first half uh, between the two of us there I think uh, it's not too not too far along here it'll flash up but I don't I think I might edit it out uh, because there's a lot of you know hokey midfield play where you're just basically bouncing the ball around between teams uh, and even like you know, end to end action, and I'm not gonna, you know, I trim this, you know, a 45 minute game and 10 minute uh, half, so that's 20 minutes plus all the extra. It's been trimmed down to 15 minutes, not too bad, man. I mean, it was uh, 45 minutes to give you an idea, total capture. <laughs> so it was like, ooh, you know, I edited out basically a half hour of stuff of nonsense. A lot of it's just, you know, like I said, if you've ever seen The Simpsons uh, talking about soccer there, you know, Passes it, passes it to the center, center back. Center back passes it to the centerman. Centerman passes it back to the linebacker. Linebacker passes it back to the center back. <laughs> uh, but I was talking about Crystal Palace here, so what I've done with them is through the transfer periods, and there's also uh, a, a youth scouting. Uh, by the way, you can hire scouts, and again, that costs your team money. So it's, you know, it's, it's a sport for the rich, man. That's why the, the elite teams are elite, because they got a lot of fucking money. I mean, what did the... Manchester United are sold you know, not too terribly long ago, but uh, I think with Old Tafford sold for just over a billion uh, or a billion and a half dollars. I, I think this, they are still the richest sports franchise in the world, aren't they? Like all sports, all considered. So, but anyways, uh, what I've done with uh, good old Crystal Palace here, who's an old school team from uh, England, e from back in the olden days of uh, shocker type, is took them over last season. Uh, and systematically what I've been doing through the transfer periods and you know work on the money um, is uh, stripping out what I didn't like about it bringing in basically a youth movement is the other thing is they had a bunch of you know older players that were meh you know get rid of them I, I like the I like the younger players and I've gone young and I've gone fucking fast too because uh, as the saying goes speed corrects a lot of mistakes <laughs> When you're fast, you can make a, correct a lot of mistakes. Uh, what do you call it? Uh, uh, at speed there. But anyways, uh, I'm wondering off topic there. But uh, this again, this is early on the second season. Uh, my first few games have really not been against uh, really too much. I mean, I've, I played uh, the game before this was against the team that uh, uh, got promoted with me. What was it, Middlesbrough, I think, uh, from Empower, the Empower League up to the Premiership here. So... 
And this is really my first test of the, the you know the upper echelon of the Premier League against uh, Manchester United here. And as you can tell, they're giving me what for because I've I've walked over a couple of these teams like three one four nothing, two nothing, with some of my victories here. So and here we go. Am I gonna break it open? Oh, Bose! Oh, Jerome! Oh, Jerome! <laughs> okay, no more of the bad English accent. So that's uh, that's a pretty sweet goal there, man. And that's important because, uh, what do you call it, uh, for me Crystal Palace here, if I could knock off Manchester United, I mean, this is like one of the elite teams, basically soccer clubs of the world, never mind the Premiership, so well, I know I know some some folks out there who are into it are not going to uh, agree with me too heartily on that. Uh, oppressions on uh, FIFA 12, by the way, uh, might as well talk a little bit about that. You know, it's it's better. It's a lot better than it has been. Uh, it's probably well. Uh, I haven't played PES. Uh, what I played, 11s? No, 10. And that was on Xbox. I used to play it on PC uh, back in the day. I used to get both actually. Um, and then uh, they sort of both got kind of eh. And I, the other issue was you know time and money. Uh, for for this guy there for a little bit was you know start working full time and uh, what when I was a you know when I was a sales and marketing rep for uh, for man like a manufacturer's rep company man there for a couple of years I just I just didn't have the time for all these sports games man you know you play play some uh, Madden you play some college football and, you know you play a couple other titles like. Uh, you know, like a GTA or a shooter or something like that, and you just left with no other time. <laughs> Never mind when I got into the, I fell into the MMO uh, uh, death cycle there uh, for a few years with the uh, uh, good friend Dasmerg, but I pretty hardcore with uh, Eve Online and Lineage 2 there for a while, by the way. So, uh, but uh, that'll be a topic for another day because I am going to be getting uh, Guild Wars 2. Uh, but again, I'm wondering off topic here, but uh, check that out uh, whenever that gets released. Probably late summer uh, at the latest, it's, so it's sounding like, and after the last beta. Uh, that game is just a lot of fun. I mean, you can level your character up just wandering around the world. Because you get experience points from just exploring. But anyways, get back to soccer and what I was talking about for FIFA 12. Not too bad. It's still got, I mean, still got some really annoying things. Like the, the classic FIFA thing is the... Uh, Button button lag carryover like from offense to defense. Uh, you go to do a, a, you know a defensive stop and you end up getting the ball right on you know on your player's foot and it turns into a wild shot off to God knows where. I mean, I never understood why that never got fixed as soon as there's a change of possession. Why that was an automatic uh, cancel, but instead of having to do you know oh. <laughs> And, uh, you know, Manchester United is still giving me what for here. But, uh, what else? Oh, the, your players still run away from the fucking ball. That drives me absolutely crazy, man. That, uh, your, your players will always play, uh, favor playing their position over playing the ball. And it's maddening. Uh, you, there's still lag in, uh, uh, switching players. Like, if you do a pass where the ball goes up in the air... You'll get stuck on the one guy and you can't switch off him. It's just like, no, give me the other guy who's two feet from the ball. <laughs> uh, the tactical defending is not too bad. Uh, I, I guess FIFA players like a whole lot of control over all those players, man, because I couldn't imagine playing football. But uh, like uh, NFL football, you can control all the players like this. It was impressive, Darth. And your good friend Dasmerg is victorious in a 1 0 final. Woo! Woo, baby! But not too bad with the FIFA. It's still. Uh, it's still probably the most rage inducing sports game that there is. <laughs> and uh, it definitely still could use some work. I mean, the stadiums are. I mean, still incomplete. I don't think the commentary has been touched in this game for at least half a decade, man. <laughs> Seriously, and the presentation is pretty, eh, you know, comparatively to some of the other sports titles that are out there, it's pretty, eh, but, you know, I guess uh, soccer folks out there are more concerned about the, what do you call it, the gameplay. Anyways, your good friend Dasberg, thanks for watching, don't know what I'll hit you with next, see ya YouTube!